Guns up. Everybody's good. And they're cleanly off now. It is a big group of boys, and you can hear them rumbling down the track. Love the sound of those boards. It's indoor season. We had a chance to do a little jog on the track before <laughs> your right. pre-race tradition to feel it out. And it is a fast track with, a, as you were describing, we think a pretty ideal turn for these middle distance races. You know, steep but not so steep that it throws you into the infield. I think it's it's not as, uh, not as shallow as the pure distance runners would like it to be, but it's right. It's perfect for middle distance running. The, right. The angle here. Right. Uh, but yeah, we got to keep these guys inside the ring, so we need those banks steep because we don't want one flying off the outside. <laughs> but the group is tightly bunched here. For the first 200 meter split, Brody Hartley in 32. Once again, no pacers, so it's up to the athletes to make the race if they want it. All right, and we're going to send it down to our 1,500-meter winner, who is going to have an interview right now. All right, we're down trackside with the newest USC member, Amos Bartlesmeyer, winner of the Track 10 USA Men's 1500. How's it feel, first win in the new kit? I mean, start the season, how's that feel for you? Feels good, you know. It's always nice to, uh, yeah, start things off on a positive note when you join a new club, and so... Yeah, I'm excited about the about this year. Been feeling good and yeah, great venue here. So it was really fun to come here and, and get a win. So obviously closing in 27 there, CPT passing him at the end. That's got to be a good way to start the season off, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely happy with that. I wasn't thinking too much about kind of the time. I just wanted to compete um, and then start up start off the season on a good note. So yeah, I'm definitely satisfied. And that's also two for two for USC because obviously Ella winning the 3K so far. So, hey, at your home meet, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's good. Representing the club well. Well, there you go. Thanks, Amos. Congrats. And, uh, Jeff, we'll go back to you. Perfect. Yeah, looking good in the blue down there. And I know Jake's looking good in the, in the fly sneakers that he's always rocking. So You can see the men's race or the high school boys race strung out. That means they've been getting after the pace. Uh, we see cutting in in the lead. Uh, thus far, it was it was 2:09 at the 809 meter split. They just hit the 1,009 meter split at 2:42. They've been, you know, 32s, 33s. Injected a bit of speed with a 31 on that fourth lap in. Now settle back into 32s. Carter cutting out front, and then it looks like. Yeah, they're ratcheting the pace down, which is uh, a little different than you normally see from a high school boys race where they usually get out barnstormingly hot. But <laughs> we've got West Shipsy coming up, overtaking Carter Cutting. Cutting an 800-meter specialist, but also very good over the mile. And now Shipsy taking a different strategy from last year. So we're inside 400 meters to go, and that's another 31 second 200. About 3.13 at 12.09. So we'll see. Last year they closed well under 60 seconds. So we'll see what Shipsy has in the tank and these other boys as well. He's already really starting to lay it on a little bit early. Going into that last lap with some emphasis. That was a 29.79. So under 60 second pace. And we'll see what he can close this final lap out. But he hasn't. Gotten rid of his competitors yet. Anything can happen in the final 100 meters. We'll see if Shipsy has the strength to hold on here. It's looking good to me. He's looking strong. From Portland, Oregon, the Stark Street elite here. Wes Shipsy crosses the line in about 4.12. Another 29.79. So twin final 200s there for, for Wes Shipsy. Perfect pacing. <laughs> he executed that race beautifully for a 4.13 over Carter Cutting and Zach Munson there, 4.15. Mm -hmm. He had 29.79 for Shipsy's final lap compared to Cutting's 30.72 and Munson's 31.49. Strong finish by Heslam in fourth. 